Uh, so here we have uh, the sailing boat, Rose Murray. And uh, this uh, introduction to, to the boat. So this is the first video that I'll do like of the outside of the boat. And uh, I'm up here on the um, Herald Island um, slipway at Herald, Herald Island uh, in West Auckland, New Zealand. And uh, so I've just washed the boat down. I've um, changed the anode on the shaft in front of the propeller there and um, I calibrated my depth gauge so once the boat touched down I zeroed the depth gauge and I just added 0.1 for security and uh, also I straightened up the rudder realigned the rudder because um, that was slightly out um, So she's a she's a Ganley Tara, 39, 39 feet. She's uh, all steel, built in steel, and uh, she's a cutter rig sloop. And it's a bit of an older design. Uh, she was built in 1986 at the uh, Whangatiao Classic boat yard, boat building yard in Whangatiao, which is close to Lee, uh, north of Auckland. It's sort of just out of um, Walkworth, so you drive up to Walkworth and you drive out from there to get to the yard. And uh, so the cutter rig is where basically you have this inner forestay here so you've got the outer forestay or foresail and then you've got this extra wire here and this is um, where you put the inner sail or known as a stay sail stay sail um, and basically that helps you to point a bit higher and it's great when you've got um, rougher weather conditions like a lot more wind so you, the boat is much more comfortable and you'll still get reasonably the same amount of speed that you would um, so it just helps to reduce weather helm So you can see the keel set up there. It's um, it's quite well. It's reasonably quick hull shape for for its design for its design age. Um, nowadays, this would be a bit of a snail, really, compared to uh, some of the performance sailboats. But she does quite well. She can. Uh, I've had this vessel sailing up to. 9.6 knots and it sits on a good average of around about high high sixes and um, low sevens uh, depending on the wind angle if, if you're on a beam reach where the wind is coming from where we're facing the boat now and blowing towards the boat um, it's it's reasonably quick and you can sit on high high sevens quite easily and the headsail is overlaps the main mast, so it's actually that that big. Overlaps a little bit, and the main sail's reasonably small, but it all still gives it a lot of power. Uh, and you find that you have to actually reef down quite early with the main sail, otherwise your weather helm is too strong. And um, what happens is the boat heels over. And you just end up with more drag. <clears throat> so 
So I've had this boat for five and a half years now and I've done a lot of work on this boat to uh, get it looking like this. So you can see the hull shape is, is quite a V, a V shape. The more modern boats are quite a flat, a lot flatter bottom, the bottom of the hull. Um, and a lot more beamier. So, and they're a lot beamier in the transom as well. Uh, you can see this sh design is pulled in towards the transom. So you do lose a lot of volume. And underneath the cockpit, basically above where the rudder is and the propeller, is under the cockpit. And uh, that area is pretty much storage area. And there's a couple of berths that utilize that space as well. And uh, so that's the, um, the first episode of the tour of Rosemary. And the second episode, we're going to cover uh, the, the decks get a closer look at the decks and uh, we're going to go inside the boat so you can have a good look at uh, what she looks like so hopefully you guys uh, come and check out the uh, second ep episode and uh, have a look at the inside and thanks for viewing